Good morning, I'm my, my, I'm Mike. Okay, good morning. I know uh, people are gonna be drifting in, but uh, welcome. Um, I don't know how many of you know Patria y Vida won the Latin Grammy for Song of the Year last year. And, uh, and it's a remarkable song. It's a song that ha is transforming Cuba as we speak. Entonces, to tell you more about it, please welcome Beatriz Luengo, Yotuel Romero, winners of the Latin Grammy for Best Urban Song, Song of the Year. <laughs> yes, Leila Mita. <laughs> Thank you very much, Leila. <laughs> So to begin to give you an idea of what the song is about, we're going to watch a video because there's a documentary coming. And so let's, let's play the video. The video. nosotros con una canción de hip hop que rompe todos los moldes y que pone la música como un transformador social. Teníamos todo en contra a un gobierno opresor tratando de silenciarnos y usaron una difamación y otra difamación para lograr o intentar que el pueblo no nos escuchase. Patria o vida, repitan patria o vida, eso es intrigado. Y el día del estreno en Cuba del video quitaron hasta la luz. The media and the, and the press in Cuba is controlled by the state. The government of Cuba denunciing the video one and another time so that YouTube didn't want to be the people to be enterrated. They closed the social media. They started to get false accusations. You can imagine in 2021 not even having your social media to say that you have released a song. David contra Goliath. But in this case, David has a song. Y el tirapiedra fue al ojo del gigante, al pecho. Patria y vida. Homeland and life. Patria y vida. Patria y vida. Se veía patria y vida por todos lados. Diotuel, the musician whose song Patria y vida has become an anthem for Cubans in the island. Patria y vida. P-A-T-R-I-A-Y-V-I-D-A. It stands for country land and life. La explosión del tema nos abrumó a todos. Portadas en todos los periódicos más importantes del mundo y ni siquiera teníamos una publicista. Y el tema en Cuba sonaba en todos los lados. ¿Te imaginas seis negros de barrio, ¿no? humildes, un sello discográfico enano y de repente la canción en todos lados? ¡Patria y vida! ¡Patria y vida! Now the question, was it a moment or the beginning of a movement? It is definitely a movement. I think it's both. I think it's a movement that's created the moment. And it all started with a song. You know who started what's happening in Cuba? Artists. Por querer pensar diferente. ¿Quién le dijo que Cuba es de ustedes si mi Cuba es de toda mi gente? Ninety miles off the coast of Florida, horrific atrocities are happening to people we love in the country we're from. Un país que tiene una dictadura por más de 62 años y de repente la gente en la calle saliendo a gritar libertad, fin de la dictadura y algo que los unió a todos. Patria y vida, patria y vida, patria y vida. El 11 de julio fue un día inolvidable. Yo recuerdo llegar a la calle 8 y se 
habían juntado miles de personas sin no, ningún tipo de organización. O sea, fue de corazón. La gente salió a la calle y Otoy se subió en una camioneta. La emoción que se sentía, creo que la gente vio la libertad de Cuba por un momento. Por un segundo visualizamos esa, esa libertad, esa, esa Cuba libre. Nos dicen que el presidente Biden quiere conocer a Yotuel por lo que la canción había generado. Major meeting at the White House, President Biden and Cuban American leaders talking about how to move forward on the communist island. And announcing new efforts to help reconnect the people of Cuba to the internet. So I want the Cuban Americans to know we hear your voices and we hear the cries of freedom coming from the island. Yo pensé que era una broma cuando me llamaron, sinceramente. O sea, increíble. La orden de combate está Hoy te gusta caminar con un solar para demostrarte que sí, ven tus ideales. No humano que There's been a strong response by the Cuban regime to tap down whatever may be going on in the streets. One of the two singers in Cuba, Jail, the leader of the San Isidro movement. Michael es un preso en una cárcel de más y más seguridad por incitación a la violencia con una cosa. Y a mí me mantienen bajo una medida cautelar, el cual no podía salir de mi casa. El movimiento San Isidro continúa sí, puesto. La tina Grammy es para ah, Patria y Vida. A mi Cuba Libre, a Maite de Soto y digamos todos, Patria y Vida. Patria y Vida. Bueno, haya ganado los Grammy de la música latina, aunque él no esté al lado mío, yo también lo quiero. Una niña de seis años está creciendo sin un padre por rapear en una canción. Esa niña tiene derecho a crecer con un padre al lado en un país libre. Michael Osobo es el único rapero ganador de dos Grammy por una canción que está preso por esa canción. La música latina es una explosión en el mundo. Sube, sube, sube el mic, mic. Palante, gracias. En una industria plagada por el stream bailable y sexual. Patria y vida es la historia de lo que la música es capaz de hacer. La música como transformó social. El rap nació para hacer denuncia social. Desde la salida del tema se han despertado una ola de canciones protestas en toda Latinoamérica. Yo creo que Patria y vida vino a inspirar al mundo. Sobre todo a darle ese sentido a lo que la música es capaz de hacer. Hey. <laughs> bueno, uh, does anyone here speak Spanish, by the way? Sí, ah, sí oh, pero perfecto. todo el mundo, does everybody, who does not speak Spanish? Ah, okay, so it's half and half. So we're, we'll do Spanglish. How about Ay, that? Okay. <laughs> Spanglish, okay. So why and when did you write the song? Like, how did this song come about? Oh. <laughs> In 2020, um, and we create to report the constant violation of human rights in Cuba and the, the constant repression of uh, freedom of expression for the artist in the island. And it's important to say Yotuel is Cuban, raised in Cuba, lived in Cuba until a year ago, hasta, until your song. Hasta <laughs> que mi canción salió. Yo creo que, que en sí nosotros no escribimos la canción. Alguien nos dictó esas palabras, porque Yo todavía no consigo cómo, cómo hemos podido lograr que Patria y Vida se lo tatúen los cubanos en la sangre, en el pecho. Que, que como me decía una mujer en, en, en Miami, hemos inventado la palabra libertad, le hemos dado otro nombre. Entonces, yo no, me, o sea, no nos creemos tan capacitados de haber creado esto. Y sí sé que un ente diferente nos susurró estas palabras y nos usó el instrumento para, para hacer esta canción. So Jotuel says he, he feels like somebody spoke the words to him. And the words, I mean, the song has all these different artists rapping, 
But the heart of the song is Patria y Vida, which means homeland and life. So explain to us why that phrase is so important. Because for 16, two years, we become to the, the country land and death. So Patria o Muerte. Patria o Muerte. Mm -hmm. So... Um, it was the slogan of the revolution. Is the slogan. Is, is the slogan. Is the slogan <laughs> for the revolution. That means uh, my, the way that, that I... So if you want to stay in my country, you need to stay the way that I say you want to stay. Mm -hmm. There no option. They not admit difference. It's my um, philosophy, my, um, my way. Mm -hmm. So I live in the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the free country and I say, why we can use, why we can be together in Cuba? Even if you feel different, but it's not, it's, it's not any reason that I'm not feel like you and you say I'm not Cuban. Mm -hmm. Because in the, in the many, many countries where, where I live with Spea, there are people that, that they don't like the, the, the politics with the government, but uh, nobody say, you are not from, for example, Mexico. You are mm -hmm. Mexico. Even if you do feel the same vibe with the president, you can use, you vote for every four years to vote a new president, but nobody say, you, you are not Mexican. Because you think different. Yeah. We changed death for life. And we change the letter O in uh, a cambio de I, de which I. means and. So instead of or, it became and. Yeah, because or is a terrible way to to create a slogan because is you uh, is just one option is what you tell us. It's discriminatory. Uh, Patria, uh -huh. is Cuba or nothing, my thoughts or nothing, my way to see how a country has to be or nothing. Mm -hmm. And Patria y Vida is patria and life. Mm -hmm. And this and is so important because it's your thoughts and my thoughts, your way to think about whatever and my way. Because Patria y Vida is a song who talk about democracy for Cuba. Mm -hmm. So democracy has an, has this end, because everybody has to be included in mm -hmm. this expression. No, no olvidemos que, que durante muchos años, todavía, el, el, la dictadura cubana a los homosexuales los desterraba. Mm -hmm. Porque era, o eres hombre, o te mueres. So for, for those who don't speak Spanish, what he's saying is that for years, uh, the Cuban government, if you were gay, yeah. you would be banned. You would be sent somewhere else because right. you had to be a man or I guess a woman yeah. or, or not be And there. right now, if you don't think in the way that they think, you are forced to exile, mm -hmm. like Yotuel or Gente de Zona. They can't return to the island because they say that they want change for Cuba. Mm -hmm. So they are the honor of an island, and they say, this is my way, and if you don't think in my way, you don't have a place right here. And the change that we want for Cuba is human rights. It's, mm -hmm. it's nothing that everybody has in this country. Human rights, what difficult is for, 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 for the, the dictatorship in Cuba, understand that we are human, mm -hmm. and we have rights. That's what we want for Cuba. And it's something beautiful that is happening in this movement, that everybody embrace us because this is not a political movement. We don't represent any side of political. It's a human rights movement. Mm -hmm. So all the um, people from right and left and, and Europe right here, everybody embrace the song because it's a song who talk about just that. Human rights, freedom, people who wants to take decision, people who wants democracy. It's not a song who say, uh, bad words or say you are a shade or something. No, it's a son who put focus on the people, the, the, the el pueblo. Mm -hmm. And we talk about they need to be here and they need a change. So this is the reason I think this is a great, huge movement that have created uh, 350 million hashtag in TikTok. For example, right now for Ukraine, People are using hashtag Patri Vida to, to uh, when they take videos of uh, 
human rights violations, they use hashtag Patria Vida. I wanted to ask you about Ukraine. Uh, what has that song done for the song? Are people reaching out and saying, can we use the song or anything like that? Yeah. Yes. Um, we, we can't forget that, that music uh, is, a, is, a, is a, para mí no es un arma, es un escudo. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, not a, it's not a weapon, weapon, it's a shield. Yeah. De hecho, con la guerra de Ucrania, eh, yo estaba en España hace una semana, y vi que una, una, o sea, usaron la canción de, de Paul McCann, la de One Minute of Peace, uh -huh. y la pusieron por primera vez en la historia unísono en todas las radios de Europa a la misma hora. La, de, ¿Really? Yeah. Oh, interesting. Y fue un homenaje que le hicieron a las víctimas de Ucrania. Uh -huh. Entonces te das cuenta de que la, la música, no podemos olvidar que la música es un, es un escudo importante para la sociedad uh -huh. y para las personas. A través de la música se han concientizado, se han transformado y se han cambiado momentos históricos en la humanidad. Patria y vida forma parte de, de ese cambio. De ese cambio que, que también lo sufrió Estados Unidos cuando, cuando había la, 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 o sea, toda la, la marginación a la raza negra que había en Estados Unidos. O sea, uh -huh. Los, los, eh, los, los, las personas negras lucharon por sus derechos. Es lo que estamos haciendo los cubanos, luchando por los derechos de los cubanos. En este caso, los artistas nos ha tocado esta misión porque tenemos alcance al pueblo, alcance a los medios, alcance al público. So, artists in Cuba are the ones fighting for human rights. When did you, you write the song, you record the song, you release it on your label, which is mm -hmm. Chancleta Records, it's an indie label. Chancleta means like, like you know, flip-flop. <laughs> flip-flop records. You release it on your label. When did you realize, because you've done other songs like that before, uh, yeah, too, but, but and, and they've been successful, but not like this. When did you realize that there was a movement? Um, when did you say, oh my God? When, when, I, when, I, when I see the, the uh, 11th of July? No, before of that. No. I remember three days um, before we released the song, I see on social media a lot of people in Cuba painting Patria Vida on walls. It was crazy, and, and I was like, these people is going to be in jail in two hours because it's a una señal de the it's something really bad for government to say mm -hmm. that. So the first time when I see that, I say, oh my God, something has happened. Because people in Cuba never say nothing. The people is scared. So like one week after to see the first uh, painting wall, I see on TikTok like 100 walls in Cuba, inside the Cuba. So then I say to you, well, oh my God, something has happened something really important because if, if the people uh, prefer to put his um, lives uh, because they know the, the repression going to put something, some bad decision against them just because these mm -hmm. words in the world, it's because the people wants to use the words for something important. They want to use the song. So after that, everybody in Miami, Miami I think was the first uh, city where everybody put Patria Vida. You live in Miami, you can mm -hmm. say that. Everybody put Patria Vida on the cars, uh, in la Iglesia de la Caridad del Cobre. One day we was on the beach and we see un helicóptero and it's a Patria Vida and I was like, <laughs> With my glasses, no, I can't believe it. That um, gente compró vallas publicitarias en la carretera. Billboards. Yeah, billboards. Yeah. So I was in my car, and it was like, it's a patria vida. So I returned to see, si eso estaba pasando. So desde el principio vimos que la gente tomó la canción como algo que les representaba. Pero one thing, Bea, because here the the discourse always is that the Cubans in Miami are psychopaths and they're far right and they don't understand that you have this 
love the island and uh, there's culture coming from the island. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you come from the island and that there's nothing wrong. And there's a very romanticized mm -hmm. version of Cuba. And so when we speak about counter revolution, people are always talking about the Cubans in Miami. So we expect the Cubans in Miami to say patria y vida, but, frankly. But, but no here, Cuba. what happens, but not in Cuba. That, that is, a, that is, a, that is what I say when the 11 July, we, I understand why we create the song. But it's the same that you say. Also, uh, every 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 moment, a big moment from from Cuban from Miami, all the Cuban islands say, "No, nah, you are from Miami." No, 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 no. Always treat the people from Miami like a crazy, like a, 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 a streaming, a streaming, a streaming yeah, right. Yeah, ultra right. Uh, all. I mean, and vice versa. And vice versa. No? But it wasn't the first time that uh, Cuban in in the island, in Cuba and in Miami, speak the same word, yeah. mm -hmm. patria y vida, the same language. That is very surprising that, to me, is, that the Cubans in Cuba said, also adopted it. Did it surprise you? Right, of course. I, I, I mean, I never believed that the Cuban in, in the island, even they, they know how dangerous it is to, to fight with the, with the dictatorship, they don't care. I say, we go to the street, I will scream Patria Vida in your face. Mm -hmm. I don't care if you kill me. I don't care if you uh, put me in jail for 30 years like they made it out. Right now, I have a lot of kids in jail, and they say, you can be only two years if you say you are not Patria Vida. And they say, I'm Patria Vida. Yeah. So they don't care anymore. That is huge. That, that what I mean, like, that song changed for, for life, my country. Yeah. So what do you want from the song? Do you want a change in government or do you want free speech? What do you want? Did you want anything? I want something for my country. Mm -hmm. I fight it for my country, I fight it for, for people that they can speak. What I want for Cuba is the same that uh, any country is perfect, but it's free. I mean, when you go to the zoo, you go to the zoo. Oh, um, sometimes when you to go to the zoo. Yeah, sometimes when you you see to the, no, to the no, no. Sometimes when you no. see you see in the news, uh, in the zoological. Ah, yeah. to the zoo. Ah, yeah, literally to the zoo. To the zoo. Okay. <laughs> no les ha pasado que que a veces ven las noticias en el zoológico y dicen the the tiger uh, have a baby for the first time in 40 years. No, no, no sí. les ha pasado. Dicen why? Y y y en el zoológico. Ese tiger eh, lo cuidan, eh, le dan comida, lo, lo peinan. Uh -huh. Ese mismo tigre fuera en la selva, en el jungle, tiene cría cada año. You know what's the ah, difference? Yes. Because it's free. Mm -hmm. Free is everything. Free is everything. You don't care if you, y si tú al tigre le das comida, lo peina, e inclusive viene gente y lo aplauden. Ah, tiger, yeah. He don't care. He want to be free. Mm -hmm. That's what the Cuban want. Be free, even que nos den a los cubanos el derecho a, a escoger qué queremos, no que nos impongan durante 63 años una dictadura que no te deja ser libre. Y por lo menos en el zoológico te dan de comer. Es que el problema en Cuba ahora mismo es el desabastecimiento tan triste. La pandemia dejó unas imágenes terribles de los hospitales. No aceptaban ayuda humanitaria. Eso para nosotros fue una bomba emocional ver todo lo que estaba pasando. Nosotros luchando para que ayudaran a Cuba con medicinas en los hospitales que estaban absolutamente desabastecidos. Y Cuba decide no recibir ayuda humanitaria. O sea, dicen, nosotros estamos bien. No necesitamos ayuda humanitaria. Porque estaban vendiendo doctores al extranjero. Porque hicieron un negocio con sus doctores para venderlos a Italia, España, otros países. Entonces, en su propia mentalidad de lo que ellos estaban haciendo como negocio, estaban diciendo, dando una imagen de en Cuba todo está bien, no necesitamos nada, todo está perfecto. Y la gente estaba muriéndose en los hospitales porque los médicos no tienen guantes. Los médicos ni siquiera tienen una ropa adecuada para, para combatir el COVID. Pasó en muchos países y es verdad que el COVID fue un problema en todo el planeta. Pero tú no puedes estar sufriendo y no aceptar que ayuden a tu país. So what Bea is saying is that Cuba refused humanitarian aid when, with the COVID crisis. So, and, and talking about uh, repression in Cuba, Michael Osorbo, who's one of the rappers mm -hmm. in the song, yeah. 
There's two artists who are Cuban who still live in Cuba who are on this song. I know El Funky came out. Yeah, yeah but, but the one, one of them is in the, in the video is uh, Luis, Luis Manuel Otero Alcantara. Uh -huh. He's in the jail with, with Michael. With Michael. Yeah. So two of them are in jail yeah. because they sang in this song? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What can be done about them? Um, we are trying everything. <laughs> we talk with everybody. So, Estamos tratando todo, pero, pero, ¿qué puedes esperar de un país que apoya a Rusia? <laughs> it's mean, it's easy, it's easy to... What can you expect from a country that supports Russia? That's uh, it. I'll open it up to questions in a little bit, don't worry. So, um, um, estamos viendo lo que está ocurriendo con, con las protestas en Rusia, los manifestantes que le hacen. This is in Cuba. Cuba, Cuba learned about Russia everything. Who treat the people, who made the repression, who um, go and yell the young people for, say, Patria Vida. Now, Jotuel, in this song, you could have, you and Beatriz wrote the song mm -hmm. initially. And then you decided to bring in other artists. Yeah. You brought in Gente de Zona, so they co wrote. Mm -hmm. Then the Semer Bueno, who's right. a very well known songwriter in Cuba. Well, he lives in Miami, but he's. He's an idol in Cuba, no, the Semer? He's amazing. Listen. Yeah. So the Semer came in, and then when you were recording it, there was talk of bringing like other big Cuban artists who were outside, but you said we should have people who are in the island. Yeah, yeah. definitely. It was a very funny situation because right now the industry have like uh, regular rules uh, to uh, create or do everything around the algorithm. So everybody uh, recommended you uh, featuring with an artist who has a lot of listeners on Spotify, a lot of followers on Instagram. So the first time when you tell say, I want my Kilo Sorbo and a Funky, everybody say, they don't have a Spotify profile. They don't have uh, more than 20 followers on Instagram. And we say, what are you talking about? Music is, is another thing. We can't be prisoner of that. Mm -hmm. We have to create music because music has a lot of important things to say. And the, the true music takes value with the time. For example, when you see the prehistoric, uh, the prehistory, when you see how the men painted capes, in this moment, they don't know how important for us would be the things that they create, now we know how they hunted, how they live. So this is something important for us as a musician. Music have to be, uh, have to say important things too. It's great, the mainstream song, it's great, the song who talk about dance, but we can't forget the other things that music have to say. So for us, when we put, Michael Osorbo and a funky in the song, and everybody say these stupid things to us. We say there's a lot of people who has real and important thing to say. And Michael and a funky was the the the, the best um, people to say. Yeah, it. because they go jail to rap in Cuba, so they don't have nothing because they are just thinking about create music and be safe. Mm -hmm. You don't have time to upload nothing. <laughs> so for us to win the Grammys, Son of the Year, with our independence label, with this kind of artist, with no followers on Instagram, with no whatever, for me is something uh, inspirational. Not, because, not, all, not only because all the things that we have to say about Cuba, it's because things that maybe this song can say to the industry. Mm -hmm. We have to create song and use the platform to growing up the song. For example, the TikTok example that I give you is a good example. The first time when, I, when we really the song, somebody tell us, you need a challenge for TikTok, a dance or something to make growing up the song. And we was like, a, a dance? With that song who talk about human rights. I don't, be, I don't know how can we create a dance for that. You can do a reggaeton song. Yeah. So, 
So it's, reggaeton dance. Mm. So put together the artists from outside of the island and these artists is our way to help these kind of people to put on a track and say, okay, go, go ahead and say what is happening to you and what do you have to say? Yeah. Uh, also, we use uh, Microsoft and Funky because they represent uh, a, a, the, the San Isidro movement. Why is the San Isidro movement? It's a big, big, big movement from the island, but for the black people. What I mean black people is poor in Cuba because the, the Fidel Castro lied to all the black people to say, don't worry about when, he, when I take the power, you want to see the black will be in the same position like a white. Bullshit. Bullshit. I, I saw the last two months the, 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 the brother from Fidel Castro, Raul Castro, mm -hmm. in front of the prime time television to say, we have progressed because we are right now black people in television. This is two weeks ago? Yeah. <laughs> there, are, there are only two, but it's a lot. I don't want to be, um, nobody be, que nadie se sienta ofendido. ofendido. For that reason, we go little by little. Slowly. No, no puede ser, en serio? Yes. Fine, look, look in, 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 uh, in, uh, in the... We have to in go... 20, in 2022? In 20, 2021. Yes. They say that. In an island where half the population is black, right? Yes. About, I mean, I don't know, I'm 15, making it up, but a lot of people. 59 percent of Cuba. When, when you think about the Cuban guys, you don't think uh, it's a lot of white Cuban, but yeah. you, you see like a, a mulata or mulato. Mm -hmm. Still or not, right or not. If you think about a Cuban. It's a very mixed population. Somebody like me, yes or not. Don't be afraid, come on. <laughs> yeah. So, why San Isidro is up here? Because they are black, they live in the, in the pure, uh, in los peores condiciones. But, in the worst neighborhoods. And, and they represent black people in Cuba. I say, mm -hmm. you are the guy to be in part of the song. Magical, the, se the sixth singer in the song, you are black. Mm -hmm. I think this is one of, of the things that the, the dictator Carl Caso hate, because say, fuck, it's the sixth singer in, in, the, you know, in the rap song, but the, the rap is created for that. Mm -hmm. you know, rap, rap hip hop culture is created for, para denunciar, para decir, hey, para, para, para los abusos, los raciales, todo, que había en Estados Unidos. Entonces, que nosotros siendo cubanos utilicemos el rap para pedir libertad, para decir patria y vida y para exigirle al gobierno cubano, a la dictadura cubana, que sea el fin de, de este maltrato al pueblo, era, o sea, it was like, a, I understand why the hip hop is created. You know? mm -hmm. Yo, Yo Tuel is making a parallel between hip hop and the states where hip hop really caused a change mm -hmm. in society and how they're using rap and hip hop now to do that change there. I, has everybody here heard the song or seen the video? Anybody has not? Martin, can we put like a minute of the video so that people can watch it? Or watch the whole thing? The, the music video. Y eres tú mi canto de sirena La gente de zona Porque con tu voz se van mis penas Y este sentimiento y es tan viejo Tú me dueles tanto que estés lejos Hoy te gusta caminar por mi solar Para demostrarte que sí, ven tus ideales Somos humanos que no pensemos iguales no te tengo ni dañemo como animal, esta es mi forma de decirte lo. Y ahora mi pueblo siento yo su voz, tu cinco nueve, yo le doy, sesenta años, tratado de dominó, con voz de platillo a los quinitos de la Habana, mientras en casa las cazuelas ya no tienen jama, que celebramos en la gente anda de prisa, cambiando Che Guevara y ama tipo la divisa, todo ha cambiado, que no es lo mismo, entre tú y yo hay un abismo. Policía, un paraíso, un baradero, mientras las madres lloran por sus hijos que se enamoran. Can we raise the volume? Oh. 
Pero pisamos la bandera todavía La represión del régimen al día Anamel y Ramos firme con su poesía Humana revolución no dándonos aliento de vida Rompieron nuestra puerta, violaron nuestro templo Y el mundo está consciente de que el movimiento San Isidro continúa muerto en la misma seguridad metiendo primas No sabe cómo me indignan, se acabó el enigma Esa es tu revolución maligna Soy Fonky Style y aquí tienen mi firma Y ustedes están sobrando, ya no les queda nada talk about a little bit about the documentary but before I do that watching it I remembered that you filmed this part of it and well Michael and El Funky mm -hmm. were in Cuba so you well you didn't go to Cuba right no 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 so we we sent the song and nobody want to uh, film them in Cuba uh-huh because they're all afraid Yeah, they're all afraid. They, they, they find somebody, it's Angelo Troya, it's amazing, amazing uh, um, director. director. And he they was say, on jail, too. He was in jail. After this. Song. Yeah, but uh, what Michael and Luis Manuel Troya Cantal Funky decide, and um, Angelo is, we, we're going to film into the, the, una casa casi derrumbada, a punto de derrumbe. At this abandoned house, I remember El Funky told me the story. It's a great story. Por, por si se enteran, y tumban la puerta, la casa, la casa se, se desploma. <laughs> so they say, we want to record them. If we record them, we die. We don't mm -hmm. care. I say, wow, that's my Cuban. You know? So um, all the, the thing that, I, that, I, that the imagine that, that um, Asil Babastro is an amazing uh, video, uh, uh, realizador que hizo el video, quiso poner algo muy importante que no había pasado en Cuba antes. Uh -huh. Siempre todos los manifestantes, o all, all people was, uh, like they say, contra revolucionario, eran black people, people already was in jail, but right now they change. Because all the people want to libertad para Cuba, freedom for Cuba, and the, the same right for everybody is painting, curadores de arte, lawyers, abogados, Um, cantantes, artistas de ópera. O sea, so a lot of people have are but, now part of but this movement. The side, the white side from Cuba. Mm -hmm. So not just black people, yeah. but also white yeah. people. Yeah, you saw that in the streets. Mm. It was the first time you had so many people marching, ¿no? Pero y gente, y gente muy estudiada, mm -hmm. médicos, abogados, pintores, curadores de arte, doctors, attorneys, college grads. Es una cosa muy curiosa porque eh, la revolución se hizo a partir de que Fidel daba charlas de seis horas, era un, un orador con mucha, utilizaba mucha poesía, muy, utilizaba mucho el arte para su eh, speaker, su manera de hablar. Y es increíble, esto lo leí en un artículo, cómo de repente el azote más fuerte de Cuba ha sido el arte. Porque nosotros lo que hemos querido hacer con esta canción es darle esa luz al movimiento San Isidro. Y el movimiento San Isidro es eso, es un movimiento de artistas uh -huh. que a través del arte, de una manera hermosa de eso, de las pinturas, poetas, raperos, eh, se paraban en la puerta del Ministerio de Cultura, hacían como movimientos, pero todo era desde el arte. Sin Entonces, violencia. Sin uh -huh. violencia. Entonces, al final es increíble que una canción y por ende el arte sea el que esté poniendo entre las cuerdas la situación de Cuba, ¿no? And next stop is a documentary. Entonces, this documentary we saw at the beginning, that's a real, but this is getting produced. What stage, when do you think that will come out? <laughs> bueno, estamos en eso en este momento. La verdad es que 
El proceso es muy fuerte, hay mucho dolor, hay mucha historia que contar. Eh, para nosotros que lo vivimos desde dentro es muy intenso, por ejemplo, ver pues, los cientos de niños que por salir el 11 de julio a manifestarse para pedir libertad para Cuba, menores de edad, esto está denunciado por la ONU, eh, es, están condenados a 20 años de prisión. So they are saying that children that marched against uh, the government are jailed in Cuba. Yeah, 20 years jail. Entonces tenemos esas madres con todo su eh, dolor eh, pidiéndonos, solicitándonos que contemos, que esperan que el documental ayude, que la gente sepa que eso está pasando. Tenemos la hija de Michael Osorbo, que es una nena de seis años, que ve la canción como algo súper importante que su papá ha hecho, pero también por esa canción es, le, le puso en esa situación. Entonces también para nosotros es muy doloroso ver a Michael, que además está enfermo, está muriendo en la cárcel. O sea, Michael está eh, con una enfermedad terminal y no le dan tratamiento. Entonces para nosotros estar viviendo esa realidad, esa, esas historias de dolor tan fuertes, mientras trabajamos el documental, grabamos las entrevistas, el material de archivo que tenemos es tan fuerte eh, que, que realmente está, está siendo un proceso como que nos sentimos con muchas ganas porque pues, sentimos que si la canción generó un movimiento y la gente no entendía las palabras, ahora las imágenes hablan más que las palabras. Uh -huh. Y además eh, va en una plataforma donde va a estar en inglés, la gente va a poder entender mucho más qué está pasando en Cuba. Maybe we can premiere it at South by Southwest. Yes, of course. Yeah. <laughs> so you, are there any, we still have some time, but I wanted to make sure, does anyone have any questions for Beatriz and, and Yotuel? There's a mic right there. I hate to, si no quiero que se nos acabe el tiempo sí, y que la gente no pueda preguntar. That's a very good question, Yotu Ambea. So what he wants to know is, si hay manera que with this song you can sit down like with the powerful Cubans and I guess open las vías de comunicación a la isla? Are they open to that now? Like internet or more something like economic helps? everything like getting them to buy in to joining Cuba and America again because they are the ones that have a lot of power over the politicians yeah. particularly the conservative ones in America yeah what he's saying is that they're the ones that shut the the you know when 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 there's conservatives in power then they don't allow Americans to go to Cuba etc do you know what it is it's a very difficult situation for us because Patria Vida um, is a weapon for both sizes. And, and I think Cuba had an old strategy, the Romans strategy, who say, Julio Cesar, who say, uh, divide y vencerás, divide and conquer, conquer, no? How say? conquer. Conquer. So this is what has happened during 60 years old. When Patria Vida gave the weapon for both sides, for us, it was, it was a very, uh, uh, like, Mm, grand, big situation. We want to put Patria Vida in the middle of both. We want the Patria Vida means democracy, means uh, everybody have a place inside Patria Vida. Even Patria Muerte, because democracy is that. We want democracy for Cuba. We want different um, points of view. Yeah, points of view. And people go to vote and take the decision of what they want for their country. So we don't have the solution. We don't want to give people what is the solution. We just want to show people what is happening in Cuba. And we want to uh, put together all the, the, the Cubans around the world. And we want to everybody say that it was a strategy that, that makes, um, that breaks everything and they need to be together. Because Miami helps Cuba a lot. All the day, there's a lot of flights with food, clothes, and every, a lot of things to Cuba. So the Miami people helps Cuba a lot. But what administration, um, what the decision that they take in this kind of things, we don't know because we don't have the solution. We just have the, the 
we don't have the passion that we use our art and platform to show what is happening in Cuba. No? Mm. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, it's, um, it's very um, difficult to speak with somebody that treats you. Alguien que te maltrata. Who mistreats you. Es como, es como que tú le pidas a una mujer maltratada que hable con su agresor y que llegue a un diálogo. No, ese tipo tiene que ir en hielo. Of course. Mm -hmm. you... Oh, I'm sorry. No, that he's saying that it's hard to speak to some, to have a dialogue with somebody who mistreats you, that it's like asking an abused woman to sit down with her abuser and come to a deal. Entonces, para mí Cuba es una mujer maltratada. Cuba is a mistreated woman, an abused woman. Que necesita, primeramente, señalar al maltratador y aislarlo. Y después, intentar que la población pueda tener una comunicación sana. Pero si tú tienes a una dictadura que está enfrente de todo y que el único diálogo que ellos admiten es o tú o yo, porque son patria o muerte, es imposible dialogar con alguien así. So Jotuel is saying it's impossible to dialogue, uh, to start a dialogue because right now there is a dictatorship in front of everything and their discourse is homeland or death. And that until once the dictatorship is gone, then yeah. you can start to establish a dialogue. Because we're in the same point. Because then everyone is at the, si, sí, exacto, perdón. Yeah. <laughs> I was trying <laughs> That, that's uh, that, that's what I think. I don't know politically, but I think logical is like this. A ver, let's let because I know. Yeah. Hola, okay. chicos, qué honor tenerlos por aquí. Eh, um, I'm I'm gonna phrase my question in English so everyone understands. Um, uh, what what do you think is the the weak spot of the of the dictatorship right now, el, el talón de Aquiles um, of, of of the government? Uh, that would possibly uh, that, that could possibly be um, aprovechado yeah, by by the Cubans in order to um, achieve finally their their freedom. Because the way I see it, um, of course, I mean the, the the situation in in Cuba, as you describe, has been uh, just terrible for 60 years. But now, uh, you know, I'm growing increasingly concerned that. If uh, we all together don't stop this uh, soon, uh, you know this uh, authoritarian uh, regime situation is going to sp start expanding across Latin America. I mean, I, I live in Mexico, and I'm, uh, I'm I'm really scared of what the future might hold if uh, this government we currently have uh, stays in power for a long time. So. Yeah, I, I would. I would like to to know your take on that. Is there a weak spot? Yes, please. I want to make sure that the, our other guy gets a chance. I mean, to people. Ask. People is everything. Yeah. People don't understand that they need to fight for themselves for his freedom. Um, is is where you say we the the picture where we see it for all um, Latin America is, is a disaster. Venezuela, Nicaragua, Cuba. Um, I mean, but, but we have the power. People have the power. Yeah. That song means you are the power. Patria Vida is you, people. So we need to, to, to react from the, from lo que está pasando. We see the people from Ukraine, how they fight for their freedom. For me to see that is, of course, nobody, nobody won the war. But see the Ukrainian people have the, the in front to the, to the tanks, stop. That means, para mí, la humanidad no está perdida. Cuando hay esos ejemplos de fuerza. But people have the choice. People have the choice. And then, of course, we need the support, though, from the power, like you were saying. Yeah. So you had a question. Well, you still have time. <laughs> sí, sí, sí. Uh, estaba ya en el concierto con los Rolling, uh, ya hace como cinco años, ¿no? En Ciudad Deportivo. ¿Estaban allá ustedes? No. 
¿Estaba, ¿Estaba en Estados Unidos entonces o qué? España. España. Ah, en España, ya. ya. Porque sentía, yo estaba allá, yo sentía que ya estaba aprendiendo ¿no? todo. Sí. Y, uh, qué pesar. So, um, como él preguntó, uh, ¿en qué podemos uh, dar más uh, ayuda a la gente, los artistas y otra gente en Cuba que está uh, en, en, en el frente de, del cambio para paz y libertad, patria y vida? Uh, the, the first thing is to understand that uh, all I know that Cuba is a romantic place for many, many years. People think when Castro comes in Cuba, it will be the paradise from the humanity. It was everything wrong. It's difficult to understand that all what you believe is, is, is gone, it's, it's not true. But that's the same people need to, to, to stay in the, in the, in the news and the, Whatever, don't forget that country is, is el ejemplo. Habían millones, habían muchos eh, líderes afroamericanos luchando por la igualdad, pero hasta que una señora que cosía no, no dijo, I don't, no me levanto de este autobús y me quedo sentada, no cambió. So what Jotuel is saying is that, that, uh, that this country is the example yeah. and with, the, with the black movement and that everybody was clamoring for change but nothing happened until Rosa Parks said, I'm not getting up. <laughs> People think that uh, you need to be the artist. You need to, I don't know. The change, it can be for maybe you. Maybe you go to Cuba and you say on the fly, this is a lie. I want a patria vida. And maybe you change the thing in Cuba. We need to, to, to think humanity first, and then uh, all the rest. But we need to get a more humanity in our life. Inside Because if we, we, don't, we don't get that humanity, the, the world is going to be disappeared. I'm sure. And do you know what? There's something important for us. Because Cuba say, okay, this is the solution. You have to think in that way. And for us, the only thing that we want to say to the people is see what it happened for real. Look into Facebook and YouTube, whatever. You have to feel free to see what has happened for real and take the decision to, to, to think what has happened for real. Because Cuba has a high reality. And Patri Vida had a, a, a great phrase that it say, publicidad de un paraíso en varadero mientras las madres lloran por sus hijos que se fueron. Who say, you put a publicity talking about the, your beautiful beaches, 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 right? But you are done talking about what has happened to your people. So for us, the message is go and see what has happened. And if you feel the human rights, how we feel, That is so sad, what is happening there, there. Go and say, if you are a journalist, if you are somebody that have a social media, it's important, but from the freedom. We don't want to say, okay, this is what's happening to you and you have to think in that way. No, it's a reality. It's you important to take whatever. it through, Internet, what happened in Cuba. Yeah, internet did the... Sí, pero, the pero todo eso, el cambio va a venir como ustedes está... Uh, uh, el cambio va a venir desde Cuba, ¿no? de, de la gente en Cuba, en, en vez de la gente aquí en Estados Unidos, ¿qué no? Uh -huh. I don't know. El cambio en Ucrania está viniendo porque la estamos ayudando. You know what I mean? Porque, yeah, porque, porque we help Ukraine. Porque you, all many countries say no, stop the war. It's not, what, what, when the change for the women is coming, when the um, Me Too, When, when they show to the people what's, what's going on with that, that people, and the, 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 the humanity say, you know what? You, 30 years ago, you do D, 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 you go in jail. But they, they have self, they, 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 las mujeres se callaban 30 años aguantando, aguantando, hasta que una dijo, me pasó esto, y la otra, a mí también, a mí también. 
Le dijeron, espérate, y la sociedad tomó medidas. No esperes que el cambio venga de un pueblo indefenso en Cuba que salió a protestar libertad y le cayeron a, a balazos y mataron y metieron presos. Es difícil. Pero... Cuando you go with peace and love and you, love and you pff, you're getting shot. They're telling me that time's up, but I just want to say to finish, the people in Cuba are actually protesting for the first time and yeah. in mass. So maybe this is the time for change. I mean, they're protesting over there. People are supporting it here. Maybe that's the way to go. And I'm not Cuban, by the way. So. <laughs> but they're gonna, they're gonna, they're being a, uh, we, we gotta finish. I'm sorry, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Gracias.